What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 511, gameplay analysis 1. Mark this easy, we're going to solve this one using MySQL. Let's get into it. Now this is gameplay analysis 1, there's gameplay analysis 2, 3 and 4 on lead code as well. And these problems are obviously perfect if you have interviews coming up for mobile game companies or game companies in general. Because these usually get a lot of events that they measure in game and need people to analyze these events and that's why it's a great market for data scientists or data analysts coming in. But let's go through the problem statement. So we have a table called activity which has columns player ID, device ID, event date which is a date obviously and games played. The combination of player ID and event date is the primary key of the table which is not really relevant. This table shows the activity of players of some game. Each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games, possibly zero, before logging out on some day using some device. Write an SQL query that reports the first login date for each player, the first time they ever played the game. The query result format is in the following example. We should just output player ID and their first login date, call that column first login. We're probably going to use event date and rename that to first login. So let's get into writing some code. Not going to lie, this one is fairly simple. It's the first one of this series, gameplay analysis. But we want to select player ID, obviously then event date and we want to select the lowest the first login date lowest in terms of ordering if you'd say higher date is higher in order we can use functions like comparing dates this date is higher than the other date or max date min date and right here we we'll probably want to use min date minimum date to get the first login date the first we ever had seen in the table so we're going to use the min function here on event date and this should give us the minimum event date. Now we need to select this from activity. We also said we want to rename that to first login so I'm going to add as first login to create that name and if we ran this that wouldn't be correct yet because it would just give us the minimum event date for the entire table which yeah, is not necessarily what we want. We want the minimum first login date for each person, each player ID. So we're going to group by player ID and that way the minimum function is only going to apply per player ID. So we're going to get the first login date per player ID and that should be enough to get an accepted output. So let's run that code and submit it and that's an accepted solution. As I said this one was pretty easy to start off. I'm going to go over the other problems in that series, namely gameplay analysis 2, 3 and 4. Probably leave links in the description or an end screen card so you can go ahead and check these out. If you want to check out more SQL videos, data science, data analysts, interview questions, then just leave a subscription to that channel and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.